Of course, I had to share my version of this behind the scenes video that was posted on Fujifilm's channel. If you haven't seen it already, I urge you to watch it. You may have missed it. I made a testimonial interview video for Fujifilm where I share my experience with the GFX 100S. And a lot of you asked me if there will be in the future on my channel a review, a kind of a review of this camera. And the answer is kind of. Because the thing is, I've already said a lot about this camera in that particular video. So, you know, some of you may have guessed my feelings about this camera already. So doing a review on that camera on my channel wouldn't make any sense. But I still want to share a little bit more about my experience and my thoughts about this camera by using it on different jobs, different projects, ones that I wouldn't normally share on my Instagram, for example, or here on my YouTube channel. So look out for this one. But before all that, here is a deeper look at this particular session that I love with Marina and Oleg inside the Chateau La Louvière. This is typically the type of location that I love. You can create a ton of things there. A lot of different rooms, different shapes and sizes, and with huge ceilings, the possibilities are endless. Sometimes I wish I had a castle like that nearby at my disposal so that I can make all my sessions there. I rarely shoot duos, couples, and it's a shame, so I was really, really happy to make one during my stay at this castle. Directing two dancers is a little bit different than directing one, especially the approach in terms of lighting. Are we exposing both of the dancers the same way or do we want to focus on only one of them? Hmm. For this entire session, I wanted something balanced. I wanted to treat them as if they were one. I also knew beforehand that I wanted to include some of the practical lights that were on location visible in my shots. Plus, some of the rooms weren't big enough for us to use more than two lights. The very first two shots were made with only one light, with the Broncolor Series L 800 watts and a 90 by 120 centimeter softbox in a grid for more control. And I knew from the start that my lights would be visible in the shot, so a second clean plate, clean shot would be necessary to erase that light easily in post. The whole thing was placed up above near the chandelier with a sturdy and huge light stand. ambient light in that particular room was really, really low. So we tested different shutter speeds to see how much motion blur was acceptable before it became distracting. And the reason why we decided to go with a low shutter speed is because I wanted to keep as much detail as possible around in the background. Of course, my flash did the rest of the job to actually freeze the movement.
more dancers you have in front of your lens, the more time it will take you to find the right pose and the right movement to capture. Your composition, the angle, the conflicting shadows, a lot of trial and error. We rehearse a lot and I only place my lights once we found a movement or a pose that we like a lot and that we can work on, build upon. Once everything is dialed in, we try different things, different variations of the same pose, movements, and once we have the shot, we can move on to the next. This final image was the most difficult one to make, or maybe the longest one to make, because this accessory that Marina brought with her, we had to untangle it for each shot. very small but efficient team for this session, Marlene and Damien. Thank you very much for helping me out on this one. So tell me in the comments below which one is your favorite and if you have any question about the making of these images, please ask them in the comments below. More on these sessions made inside the Chateau La Louvière in a future video, maybe next Sunday. Thanks for sticking around and until the next one, please have a good one.